What's up guys, this is Rampage here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the final installment, the final part of this Mega Sceptile team that I'll be using on Pokemon Showdown. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this separate parts um, system, way of doing things, I don't know. In the future, I kind of like doing the longer episodes, um, but just for a short time I'll probably still do these short separate individual parts. But anyways, let's try and look for a battle. Any day now, showdown. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. I guess I'll just pause until I get one, so BRB. Okay, so I got one. Um, I'm facing a, a pretty cool looking team. Um, hmm. Hmm. Whimsicott kind of stops Mega Sceptile from doing anything. Entei might be a little annoying. Paired with this Beedrill. Well, if Beedrill has Drill Run, then it's annoying. I don't. I need to find out if it has Drill Run or Knock Off. I do have Porygon too, though, which can take up hits from this thing and then just recover. Empoleon. Um, it's a fat Pokemon, but I could wear it down easily. Definitely since it has no reliable recovery. And Hapaldon, I shouldn't be too worried about. So, without further ado, what am I going to lead with? Um, What's he going to lead with? Probably with Beedrill, in all honesty. Let's lead off with Mianchao. Nope, he leads off with Empoleon, actually. I'm free to just go for a high jump kick. <laughs> He's going to go out into Hippo, but that's free damage. So, Rocky Helmet, ill. Um... Hmm. Needle Queen also just poops on his team. Yeah, so that's the switch I'm making. I can take an Earthquake, so. Which he doesn't even go for. He just goes for his rocks. Nothing likes Ice Beam. Or Earth Power. But. I'm going for Earth Power. Predicting his Empoleon or his Entei. And I catch the Empoleon, so. That's great. <laughs> I get Napoleon out the way easily. And is is this a counter? Is, is this what we do now? Oh, okay. That's what you do. That's fine. Um. So, I kind of want to spin the rocks away, but I think Porygon 2 is safer at the moment. In case he goes, oh, I get a Spatak raise too. And what's, what's stopping me from going for Ice or Tri-Attack, actually? What's stopping me from going for Tri-Attack? I'm gonna go for Ice Beam just because it does more damage. Okay, he's this set. Uh, he's this is this is ugly. Um, I do have Blastoise though, so what I can do is just roar him out, since he's going to just sub seed me to death. And we'll 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 see you later, Wimscott. We will see you later. We will see you later. As I roar him out until his uh this thing, not bad. Let's go. Um. So now I can go for the Rapid Spin, and if he goes back out in the Whimsicott, this works perfectly because I spin away the Leech Seed, spin away the Rocks, he'll probably go for another Leech Seed, but he can't, um, he can't stall me out. I could go out into Sceptile predicting his Leech Seed, but Sceptile doesn't do anything to this, so, while well, this thing could probably hurt me with a Moonblast, so what I'm going to do is go out into Needle Queen. Um, like I said, if he goes for Leech Seed, I can just, I can go for Sludge Wave. Do I go for Sludge Wave or do I go for Ice Beam? I think I go for Ice Beam. I go for Sludge Wave. Um. Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be annoying. Let me get my rocks up. Since he's gonna just keep subseeding me. And now predicting the Encore, let me go out into, actually I think next time I will just make that switch out into my Sceptile because this sub C shenanigans is quite annoying. Quite, quite annoying. I might even be able to break yourselves with Giga Drain, you never know. I'm going to roar him out right here. And, well I get his Entei this time, so. What I'm going to do is go for a Toxic. 
on his high dragon which is that's pretty nice um and i can go out into my p2 this is my best pokemon to take a hit from this is going to get to a ko which is going to be unfortunate but um or not because this thing is more than likely scarfed going to just go for a recover right here as he goes out in the entei not bad so Porygon got his health back, meaning it's eating up hits from this Hydreigon all day. Um, hmm. Let me go into Blastoise. I know he's going for the Sacred Fire, but Blastoise is the best Pokemon to eat up a hit. And now I can just go for Scald. I don't care if this Hydreigon comes back in, because that's free damage. But he actually goes out into his Whimsicott, which is also fine, because I'm going to burn this thing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been calling these things for days. But... This works out for me. I'm just going out in the Sceptile. You are not sub me. Oh, nice prediction. Nice prediction, sir. Nice prediction. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Anyways, um... Why would I Mega Evolve? Let me just Giga Drain. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. That works, that works, that works. And he might even, um... Encore me right now. Just because... Just so he can get a safe switch out into his um, Entei or Beedrill or Hydreigon. <laughs> Any one of these three. Obviously got the Beedrill. Um, all I need is a little bit more damage on this and, and this. And the High Jump Kick sweeps his team, but Entei is still looking to be a threat. Actually, I have my own Entei for this Beedrill, so... Knowing he'll probably go for the U-turn or the, um, well, Protect right here. No, Poison Jab. Nice. Duh. Poison Jab is also a move he can go for. And I'm going to go for Sacred Fire. Let me burn this out on real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm burning this thing too. It doesn't even matter if I burned it because Sacred Fire is just a 2 at KO. So that burn really didn't matter. Um, and he has to stay in because... Everything on my team outspeeds a powder on and kills it. Look, whoa, I still have all six Pokemon, sir. You cannot let me 6 you like this. Alright, so you got into your own Entei. I'm just going to sack mine right here. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I will not preserve the 6 I really don't need Entei. Okay, you're, you're trying too hard now. You're trying too hard. I guess you have to try and make plays when you're in the back like this, but I think it's over. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. All six Pokemon, not bad. Um, <laughs> how long was that? Eight minutes? Let's look for one more. I have a little bit of time before I have to do something, so I'm going to look for another one, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, so we got a battle. Um, pretty balanced looking team. Um, doesn't look like it'll be too hard to break. Maybe, um... I don't know, this floor just is going to be annoying. Good luck, have fun. Thanks, thanks, man. You too, you too. It's all about the fun. It's all about the fun. <laughs> uh, looks like Needle Queen is putting in some work against his team, though, so that's a good thing. And Entei, once I get rid of this, or this. But anyways, let's not think about it. Let's just leave off with my Mian Chao. Hopefully he doesn't leave with a trick scarf Skarmy. Um, but you know what? I ain't risking it. I am not risking it. Okay, he switched out, meaning that his Starmie was... That says Skarmy? I think I meant Starmie. I think... Yeah, I know what I meant. Um, he just goes out into his Crobat. Let me just go for a Tri-Attack, knowing he's going to U-turn. No? Well, that means... Crobat could have ate up the hit anyway. Um, he gets a Toxic off on me, which kind of sucks. But... He'll probably Roost right here. I don't see him going for the U-turn just yet. So I can go out into this. Um, he does have a rapid spinner. Um, what's he gonna go out into? Let me just sludge wave. Sludge wave this Rotom Heat. Not bad. 66%. And he is not specs. So I'm free to go for another one. Sir. Stop that. Well. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let me just... 
I'm not going to take an overheat at this range. Is he going to go for an overheat? He has to because Sludge Wave is going to kill him. So let me go on the Entei. Yeah. That's pretty obvious. And Bandit Extreme Speed kind of hurts. So. Kind of hurts his team. Unless he has um, Crocodile. And I see Lefty, so he's not Bandit. He'll probably still pursue me, but I can't do much about that. Um, I'm gonna go out in the Sceptile because he'll either knock off or Earthquake or Stealth Rock. And this is just a free Mega Evolution Giga Drain. Knowing he's gonna go out into Explore just but <clears throat> Voice crack. But that's fine because I can just go out in the Blastoise, rapid spin these rocks away. As he predicts that, goes out into a Starmie. Don't really care because, like I said, that's a. Yeah, that's just a rapid spin. I don't care if you T bought me, you're not killing me. It does a lot though, so you are definitely a life orb variant. I do have my P2 on the on the sidelines ready to come in and eat up a hit. I wish you would have more defense than special defense though. Give me a nice bonus. Um let's see, let's just go for a try attack. Get some nice hacks on this um Florges. Or I get to kill this army, hopefully. Nope. Just gonna go for a thunderbolt. Oh, unfortunately he misses the um, hydro pump. I thought he might go for the recover. In that case, I don't know why I went for a thunderbolt. I should have went for my own recover because I will be losing my Porygon too. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll go for the volt switch. Yeah, I'm risking it. <laughs> I'm risking it. Woo! I haven't I haven't used Septile's ability yet, so that's nice. I'm gonna go for a gig drain because I can take an overheat. So. And I actually knock him out with the Giga Drain, so that's nice. Um, yeah, that's real nice. As now he goes out in the floor, just do I just stay in to get damage, or do I sack P2? I think the answer is I sack P2. Yeah, I think I sack P2 right here. Because I don't want to lose my Sceptile. I'd rather lose my P2 than lose my Sceptile. I could still put in work, because... I got Needle Queen in just punching holes in his team. The Sludge Wave is kind of obvious. I'm going to set my rocks up. As he'll go out into Crobat, actually. Yep, like I thought. And I can go for an Ice Beam right here. As he goes for the Defog. Not doing much. And I'm going to force him to either Brave Bird and kill himself with Recoil or um, Roost and I Earth Power. So, yeah. That's all you can do. Okay, so I kill off his Crobat, which is nice. Meaning Mian Shao is coming through now. As he goes out into Kingdra, um, um, hmm. I do have extreme speed, and I'm saving Needle Queen. Let me go out in the Blastoise. As he turns out to be Specs, maybe. This way, I can just go for a Flare Blitz, right? I mean, Sacred Fire, get a burn on this Crocodile. Um, okay, so he's not Specs. He's probably Focus Energy. Um, what? How did I live that? Do you have EVs? Are you serious? Well, I'm going to go out in the Sceptile, because I know he's not going for a Dragon move. So, yeah, eat that up easily, and... I can just Giga Drain, because... Oh wait, I love that because he's minus two Spit Attack. Duh. Duh, Rampage. Just don't crit me right here. It's a little too late for that, sir. And now all he has is Florges. Um... Let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me... Sack Entei? Do I want to sack Entei? Yeah, probably. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Let me just sack. Let me just sack this. No, what, what do I sack? What do I need more? Because this thing probably has pursuit. So if this thing comes in on Entei, Entei's finished. Whereas this thing can. Oops, too late. Shut down, it's lagging. Um. No, honestly, this is perfectly fine. Because now I get off the Sacred Fire for free. I'm pretty sure I outspeed you since you're you seem to be bulky. Um 
if you do happen to switch out on the floor, just that means I get a burn on this. Or a potential burn on this. I get a burn on this though, which is very nice. Very, very, very nice. And now I can just play with U-turns all day. Yeah, you thought I was staying there. Or you thought I was gonna high jump kick you. Um, but yeah, got the Needle Queen. All I got, well, since his crook is low, I really don't have to worry about it. And burn is gonna kill it as well. Just gonna go for a sludge wave right here. And that's GG. Yeah, that's GG. Because I have Sceptile and Mian Shao. So, GG. That was a nice... Well, the first battle was... Uh, but that was a that was a pretty uh, good one. Oh, he already left, so it's no point saying that. But GG. Ooh, 15-21. Not bad. Not bad. I didn't know I'd had that many points. Okay. So, I think I'm... Well, I know I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little series. Um, don't worry, I will continue longer parts for those of you who like them. And I probably still will do another little session where I break it off into three parts or so. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please push that like button. Also, leave a comment. You know I do enjoy reading your comments. It's been a wonderful time. This is your host, Rampage, here, signing out. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and peace.